All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. And uh, it's not going to be too long. Um, it's concerning um, really this uh, <laughs> this spiritual awakening uh, that the world sees, uh, you know, a remnant of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans going through. And um, little do they know it's prophecy. All right, that what's happening on the earth is prophecy. All the things that are taking place on the earth are according to prophecy. All right, and the prophecy states that what the true bloodline descendants of the of the nation of Israel, of Jacob, all right, will wake up in the last days. Why is this? Because the Lord will put a spirit on them. All right, what? Well, and you can read about that in the book of Ezekiel, the thirty seventh chapter. He would breathe. All right, or send down the breath of life all right via the comforter all right into the dry bones and our people are liking us to dry bones why because they their spirit is not uh it's not uh watered with righteousness it's not watered with history it's not watered with what the law statutes and commandments all right which was given to us as a people all right by the hand of Moses, by way of Yahweh Bashem Shai. So now we're coming back into the realization, which is like Apostle Dahar said, this is a higher power doing this on the earth. This is a higher power, all right, having us go out and teach this word. This is not of men. Read the book of Acts, the fifth chapter. If this was of men, it would come to naught, all right? And if, it's, if it does not be of men, then it shows you, roughly paraphrasing, that these people, all right, everybody's saying that we're not the children of Israel, all right, the Edomites coming forth with these different doctrines, the little hats coming forth with their uh, with their lies, all right, the, the circle talk, the, the forked tongue, all right, it would appear to be that they're fighting against the Most High, and that's what's taking place, because you're not going to stop this prophecy of the Israelites, the remnant. All right, that elect, Lord willing, we are those men waking up in this last in these last days, man. Okay, so this is um, Baruch chapter two, verse twenty-seven. O Lord, our power, Thou hast dealt with us after all Thy goodness, and according to all that great mercy of Thine. All right, so this is the mercy of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Shai. Nobody can uh, overtake this. This can't be stopped. All right, and as you see. Um, you see in these churches, man, a lot of uh, Jake is leaving the churches. Why? Because they're figuring out through the spirit, through a higher power that they're Israelites. All right. This is the awakening spoken of in the last days. All right. Verse 28, it says, As thou speak, as thou speakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, if you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations with where I will scatter them. All right. So us waking up in these last days, we are that what that small number. All right. Because the majority of our people have been destroyed, not just physically, but spiritually. So the remnant, that small number that will wake up. All right among the nations where they were scattered would be the remnant, the elect, the understand this truth while still living amongst our people that are completely still spiritually dead. They're not a part of that remnant. They're not a part of that small number. All right. Because from now going all the way back to the time of Moses, during the time of Moses, our people was a great multitude. All right. But now we've uh, been condensed down to uh, the small remnant that you have uh, coming back to this word, coming back to this truth, coming back to their heritage. Coming back to the fact that they are descendants of the people that walked through the Red Sea with Moses. This is prophecy taking place. All right. Baruch 2 and 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But. In the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. How if if we <laughs> if the Israelites, right? They said that the people in uh, Israel today are the Israelites. 
that would mean that they would have to come back to their heritage that they lost, that they forgot. Read the book of Jeremiah 17. All right? The beginning of that started during the time of Jeremiah. The Lord told him that ye shall discontinue from your heritage that I gave you. So if those people are the Israel, Israelites, so-called, in the land of Israel now, that would have meant, that would have to mean that they would have forgot their uh, heritage just to come back to it according to prophecy. And that's not happening to them. So you let them tell it. They've always known they were Israelites. That's not according to prophecy, which shows you that's not the people. The people that are the Israelites are coming back to their understanding. As this prophecy says, it's saying they shall remember themselves, which is what's taking place on the earth. Because what a higher power all right, is pouring back, is pouring the spirit back upon us. All right. This is that true spiritual awakening. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. You are the blood descendants all right, of the children of Israel, the nation that walked through the Red Sea with Moses. And you're coming back to that understanding. We're all coming back to that understanding and hoping that we are of the elect, the 144,000 in these last days. Or the innumerable multitude, the one third, because that is that remnant, that small number among the nations that's going to be saved. All right, when these chariots, all right, which the world calls UFOs, come, all right, they're going to be called up into them. All right, this is why we do this work. We're hoping to receive that mercy of David. We're hoping to get up in a chariot. We're hoping to be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. As these scriptures says, all these prophecies of this, this. This important people transforming, waking up in the last days. We're fulfilling that. <laughs> we're fulfilling prophecy, man. Okay. Baruch 2 and 34. I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord, their power. We found out the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, which means in the name of all right, Yahweh, his son, the savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. We're figuring out and remembering these names. Let's read that again, Baruch 2 and 31. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, Yahweh, their God. For I, the Most High, give them an heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Call Allah Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. That's why you have brothers that pray, say that all throughout their lessons. Barakat the Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. We start our lessons giving praise to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. This is according to the prophecy, man. It says that we shall praise him in the land of their in the land of our captivity and think upon his name. And what else are we gonna do? Verse 33 and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. How are we remembering the way of our fathers? All right, let's get a quick scripture. Let's go to Romans 15 and 4, and we'll get that Ezekiel 11. That's real good. This is uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay. We read the scriptures. We read during the time of kings. We read about our kings. We read about our uh, our priests, the prophets of old. We read about these great men of our nation. Why? Because they are written aforetime. They're written for our learning. They were a search of our. They were searching out our five forefathers via prophecy. The Lord is putting the spirit on us to do this. Why? Because we're ultimately we're coming back to who we are. We're remembering ourselves. Our, in our captivities around the earth. Whether the brothers be in Holland, whether the brothers be in Italy, whether the brothers be in America, whether the brothers be in Canada, Australia, the Bahamas, Jamaica, <laughs> all right, whether they be in Japan, Arabia, they're there in captivity and they're remembering themselves via this word in the search of their fathers, all right? Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So now we have hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahshua because two thirds of our people, they're in darkness. They think they're going to be in this captivity and slavery forever. They don't understand how to get out. They could be rich or poor. If the Lord didn't give you the spirit, all right, 
you're going to be considered as a two-third and allotted to what? Judgment, death, and destruction. All right? So you, like Elder Yashawamba said, if you understand this truth, you're repenting. You're fighting in your mind to stay in this truth. You're fighting in your mind to do the right things all the time. You're fighting in your mind to keep the, the connection going with Yahweh Hashem Shai. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting the demons. <laughs> all right? Which is trying to pull you back into the world and pull you back into thinking this world and this life that you knew before knowing this truth is normal. You're blessed because you're fighting a good fight of faith. That, that hope that you've been given through what? The study all right, and the searching of your fathers. Which is what you were written to do according to prophecy. All right, in these last days, man. Which is what? Remember yourselves and you, remembering yourselves in your captivity. All right, Romans 15 and 4, again, for whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. You see? So let's go back to that Baruch. Baruch chapter 2 at 33 and return at 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. Let's see. Let's get another scripture. Search. See if it comes up real quick. This is Job chapter 8. Why are we doing this? Who put a spirit in us to go search out and, and try to figure out who we were before slavery, before Africa? Yeah, how about Shimi Al Shai? And that's according to prophecy. All right? Job 8 and 7. Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end shall greatly increase. All right. So we're going to go from rags to riches, as the apostles say, man. Because more and more, all right, information is going to go out. All right. And the glory of the Lord is going to go forth more and more over the earth. And the world is going to start to ultimately figure out that we are the Israelites. And with that comes what? The judgment for all the things that these nations have done to us, all right, starting with the so-called white men, the Edomites, they are the biblical Edomites, the descendants of Esau. And this is what's taking place on the earth. This is why they're trying to demonize us because they know this truth can it's not stopping because it's not of man. It's of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai and his word and his prophecy, which can't be, it can't, it's, it will not come back void. It's going to accomplish everything that he planned it to accomplish in these last days all right job 8 and 8 for i and in, for inquire all right i pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers that's what's taking place that's what's happening with us all right and that's what's happening in this prophecy i'm gonna read it again baruch 2 and 32 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. All right. Us studying, us coming back into this word, us going into the history, all right, us going into the prophecies. We're remembering the way of our fathers, which sinned before the Lord. We're making a diligent search of our fathers. We're reading about the things written aforetime so that we may learn and have hope now. That is what the Lord meant by him saying he's going to send a comforter, which has comforted us, which has awakened us, which has watered us. All right, let's go to the book of Ezekiel 11 and I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to make it too long. Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh. Although I have cast them far among, far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore, th therefore say, thus saith Yahweh power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. That's what's coming. Lord willing, we are all found in the good graces of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. 
Verse 18, and they shall come thither and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence. And I will give them one heart. This is what's going to happen when he changes us. When we go into the kingdom, we're going to become, he's going to make us perfect. He's going to put a new spirit in us. He's going to put a new mind in us to what? To never go off, to be uh, downloaded with the law, statutes, and commandments. We're going to be his people. This life is not going to matter anymore. Battling demons is going to become a thing of what? Being a person of flesh. We're going to be gods, <laughs> immortals. This is what's coming. We are never going to die soon, man. So this is what the continual fight of us carrying our cross is for so that we gain this. So what's taking place on the earth is prophecy and it's ultimately going to what? Culminate into us receiving a kingdom and the Lord coming to receive us. So the so-called white man can do whatever they want with the so-called NWO, all this madness going on out here. They just, they're just scrambling because they know that they're, they're finished, man. It's all they have. <laughs> it's all you Edomites have is this little NWO. So all you have is your deception, your witchcraft, sorcery. Because that's all you have is what's in this plane, in this life, in this world. Because that's it. You're not going to carry this forth past this time, man. Why? Because the Lord is waking up his people. And is establishing and setting in order his people. Ezekiel 11 and 19. And I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a, a heart of flesh. That's that new covenant. All right. Which we're not in yet, but the Lord is setting us up for it. We're about to receive it. A part of the new covenant is becoming perfect in the mind, in the body, in everything. Not being able to sin. Not fighting demons in your mind because you're going to be in control of the demons to put them on other nations. To put them on Edomites. <laughs> They're going to be in God mode. Alright. Forever. Ezekiel 11 and 20. That they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them and they shall be my people and I will be their power. But as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of the detestable things, the two thirds of our people, and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own head, saith the Lord Yahweh. So we're only having a written the Lord is only waking up a remnant of his people, a small number, a little sanctuary. And if you understand this truth, all right, via the apostles and elders on down, to all the brothers around the world of Great Millstone, and to them who teach the likewise doctrine, you are blessed. Because you've been called into what? The remembering of yourself. You've been called into what? The sheepfold of what? That small number that is left among the nations who are actually the blood descendants of what? The children of Israel, the nation that walked through the Red Sea with Moses in the past, man. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Also, salutations to you, I came across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. And with charity, shalom, and a baba ball.